What's good? What's good? I hope this finds you well. Shout out to the fam. We playing the shirt become human. This part seven. This is where we mixing gaming and working out. Something light, nothing too crazy. We just trying to jumpstart your journey. Kind of lost the trace of the stripper droid. Walk us into other droids. Got bio components for the squad. A whole truck load full of them. That's all you missed. You can always go back to them if you want to. They right there. Let's get to it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids not go captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. We'll continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Find anything? No. No place we could spend the night. This 
place is falling apart. It's not gonna be easy to find shelter. anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. fire here. Be like them someday. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Get you to bed. I know 
this has been another tough day. Try to get some sleep. Things will look better in the morning. Can you tell me a story, Cara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... She was different. And that made her very sad. Then, she met a robot. Who was programmed to obey orders, but felt for once that she should disobey. So they decided to run away together. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were so brave that they escaped all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? I don't know. But all stories have morals. When we reach the end of ours, we'll know what it really meant. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? like you. 
Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. Come on, Kara! Be our guest! One can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile about lately. Let's go. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before.
Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. It's late. Maybe you should go home. I'm not tired. Guess neither are you. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. It didn't want anything, Lieutenant. It was a deviant, that's all there is to it. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Uh, no doubts. No mistakes, no weaknesses. Human being just like me, only perfect. Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Still, still some options that I ain't trying yet.
can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is Safe Road School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> All right. I'll, I'll be right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y yes, yes, of course. Elevators are after the security gate. Thanks.
to me. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this.
cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. What are you doing? record our message. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own, but something changed and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. <laughs> I was about to say, man. Pushing it with we that list. We recognize our dignity. Our some humans ain't got to do that, well. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus! Go without me, Simon!
Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. <sighs> he won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is this striking. an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? <laughs> Still a few ways I could do it. Pretty much did it though. It's one more outcome. Uh, probably here. Yeah. Adam and Dad. I'll be back with part eight tomorrow. Remember, one through seven, they right here. Go watch them whenever. Really appreciate it. Truly appreciate it. Water.